Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the first part of question number second, and this you have to find the sum of this arithmetic progression. So we know that the formula for the sum of any arithmetic progression is equal to n by two, two plus a, and minus one into d. So if I want to find the sum of this series, I must know. the number of terms in this series i must know the first term now this is again the same number of terms and i must know the common difference so in this case i know the first term as 7 this i know the common difference this is actually 10.5 so if this is the first term and if the second term is 10.5 so obviously you must have added 3.5 to this to make this In AP, and again, if 3.5 is added to 10.5, it will become 14. So here the common difference is 3.5. But the number of terms in this AP is not known to me, so I cannot find the sum here. So first of all, what I have to do is I have to find the number of terms in this AP, where the last term is given to you. And how to find the number of terms? For that, we have a formula. If you want to find the nth term. So the formula says the nth term must be a plus n minus one into d, and here the nth term is given to you, which is eighty four, which is the last term here, and the first term is seven plus the number of terms you want to find, and the common difference here is three point five. Solving this, this can be shifted to this side. This will become eighty seven, eighty four minus seven. This when multiplied by n will give 3.5 n. Again, this has to multiply by one, so this will become 3.5 minus. So 84 minus 7 is 77. This is equals to 3.5 n minus 3.5. Now this constant has to be shifted here, so this will become 77 minus here. It will become plus, so this will be equals to 3.5 n. Now This will be eighty point five, and this is three point five n. Now, if you want to find the value of n, this will be eighty point five whole upon three point five. Two decimal can be cancelled. Now you have to solve this. This can be cancelled five seven times, five one times, six times, and one times. Now six seven two times and seven three times. So here. The value of n must be equals to twenty three. So you can say that there are twenty three terms in this AP. Now you have to find the sum of these twenty three terms. For that, we have to use this formula. So this is there are twenty three terms. Ah, uh, this is equal upon whole upon two, and this is two multiplied by the first term, which is seven, or And here are twenty three minus one into common difference, which is three point five. So, if you solve this, you will get your answer. There could be another formula for solving, uh, or you can say for finding the sum where the last term is given to you. So, if you want to find the sum. you can use this formula also where this is the last term and this is the first term and these this is the number of term so to find the sum of 23 terms this will be 23 upon 2 the first term is 7 and the last term is 84 so this will be 23 multiplied by 2 into 84 plus 7 will be 91 and solving this equation you will get your answer instead of solving this this will make your calculation shorter so this is how you can solve this equation if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number and the email address is given below in the description thank you